Greetings from Battery Solutions and Innovations. In this video we will talk about testing for a bad lead acid battery. A bad battery is a battery that cannot be recovered with a battery lifesaver electronic device. We will be testing for three conditions. Physical exterior damage, a short cell, and an open cell. For these tests you will need a voltmeter and a hydrometer. We will demonstrate how to use each of these tools. As always, safety first. Wear protective clothing, goggles, and gloves whenever handling batteries. A physical inspection is really important as it can save you from future battery trouble. Replace cracked or broken batteries and clean or replace rusted or broken connections. On flooded or wet batteries, check the water levels. The water level should be high enough to just cover the plates. If water is needed, only use distilled water and do not overwater as it can spill and the electrolyte is very corrosive. Make sure you turn off any instruments or accessories that will drain the batteries during this testing. Charge the battery or battery system until it is completely charged. If the system has multiple batteries, we recommend disconnecting them from each other to get accurate readings. Let the battery sit for 4 to 12 hours. The longer the better. To use a voltmeter, set the dial to DCV with a range of at least 20. Hold the red lead from the voltmeter to the positive battery terminal. Then hold the black lead from the voltmeter to the negative battery terminal. The voltage of the battery will appear. Reference this chart to determine if a battery has a short cell. If you have the sealed type batteries, this test method cannot be used. Use a temperature compensating battery hydrometer for this test. To use a hydrometer, carefully remove the battery caps. Insert the tube of the hydrometer into a battery cell. Compress the pump to fill the chamber with solution. It is best to do this at least twice for each cell to make sure you get an accurate reading. Read the dial to get the specific gravity for that cell. Measure and record the specific gravity of each battery cell. Compare the specific gravity readings for each battery. If a battery has a difference of more than 0.05 between the cells, that battery has an open cell. In this example, battery C has an open cell because the difference between cell number 1 and cell number 3 is 0 0.075, more than 0 0.05. Any battery that has a short or open cell needs to be replaced. If you have been using the BLS or you plan on using the BLS, you only need to replace the bad battery with another used or new battery.